All right, what is going on guys? Welcome to my 500 subs Q&A. So this is my first Q&A I've ever done and this is for 500 subs. So without any further ado, let's just get right into it. We have a lot of questions, so I'm going to try to go through them as quickly as I can, and I will be saying who asked them, uh, but I'm going to try to answer as fast as I can because there are a lot. So the first few questions are from Coaster Lovers, and the first one is, what is your favorite coaster and least favorite coaster in parks? So my favorite coaster is Intimidator 305, and my least favorite coaster is Mind Eraser at Six Flags America, and my least favorite park is Six Flags America. When are you going to Hershey Park? So I've already been twice this year, so I'll probably go back next year. What ACE events are you going to this year? What grade are you going into? So the ACE events, I might be going to Riding of the Bull this year. I don't know. It's a possibility. Um, I might even be going to Phoenix Fall Fun Fest. Um, and I'm going into 10th grade, so... What do you think of Knobles, Dorney Park, and Six Flags Great Adventure will get next year? So I think Knobles will get, I don't know, maybe like a new family ride or something. Dorney Park will probably get that GCI and Six Flags Great Adventure. I'm leaning towards them getting a T-Rex. I really think they could get the first T-Rex, and that would be really cool if they did. What do you think Hershey Park is getting 2019 and 2020? So for 2019, they're getting that um, that VR ride or whatever. It's not like a VR, but it's like this roller coaster going through the uh, chocolate world or whatever. I feel like that's what they're getting. And then 2020, they could get a new RMC, RMC Wildcat. However, I cannot see that really happening because I love Wildcat. What are some of your favorite coaster YouTubers? So I really like Coaster Kids, Coaster Studios. Uh, Coaster Bot, Ohio Valley Coasters, Coaster Watch, New Jersey Coasters, Beyond the Thrills. Um, yeah, those are some of my favorites, honestly. I like all of them. Are you going to Riding of the Bull? So like I said, that's a possibility. How tall are you? Feet and inches. So I am actually 5'10". <laughs> when are you going to do merch? Didn't you say you would hit merch if you hit 500 at the end of the year? So yeah, I did, and um, I'm working on merchandise right now, and I will try and give you guys a sneak peek of it sometime in the near future. All right, so these next questions are from Coaster Kitten, B&M or Intamin, Intamin, Worlds of Fun or Dorney Park, Dorney Park, RMC or Intamin, Intamin, RMC or B&M, RMC, Valley Fair or Michigan's Adventure, Valley Fair, favorite color, blue, favorite breakfast food, I like toaster strudels, I don't know why, favorite hotel chain, Marriott, favorite kitty coaster, Coco Cruiser. This next question is from Moyen YouTube. When are you going to Six Flags Great Adventure? So if I do go, it would be for the Riding of the Bull event for Ace. These next questions are from 808 Coaster Life. Is Dragon Mountain a top 100 coaster in the world? Yes. Which manufacturer do you think is stepping up their game the most? RMC. Favorite coaster color scheme? I honestly like Mako's color scheme a lot. However, Shambhala is a really cool one too. What coaster do you want to get RMC the most? Okay, honestly, the one I've been really wanting to see is like... Wildcat. Okay, I like Wildcat. However, if that thing got RMC'd, it would be crazy. Like, that would be an insane roller coaster. Top bucket list parks besides Cedar Point. So, Cedar Point is actually not my top bucket list park. It is Porta Ventura in Salau, Spain. Dumbest GP quote you've ever heard? You see, you see that one over there with the, um, yeah, the, uh, the, the race car. It's like, yeah, it's like yellow and red. Yeah, that one, it goes inside and there's like, a, it's like you're in a jungle and, and then you just, you just, you just, Boom! You just fly down. You just fly down. They're not allowed to do that, right? This next question is from Timmy Takas. Who influenced you to start making videos and or start riding roller coasters? So, Logan from Coaster Kids actually influenced me to start um, making videos. Uh, when I started watching his channel, at a, when he was about at like a thousand subs, I think, um, it really, really made me want to, you know, do it too. So, um, what influenced me to start riding roller coasters? I've been riding coasters since I was five, so for about ten years. I don't remember what exactly influenced me, but I rode Mystery Mind, so maybe that's what it was. A few more questions from Coaster Lovers. What are your thoughts on Steel Curtain? I think it looks cool, but very weird. Do you play any sports? Yes, I do. I play soccer, and I do some basketball from time to time. What do you think of Breaker's Edge? I think it looks okay. Eh, it doesn't look too much of a ride. Dumbest three GP quotes you ever had. So the Verbolton one I just said, and then also there was this one person in line for Volcano who said that it goes inside and then comes back out and then goes inside again, comes back out, and then does it like two times in a row. And while I was in line for Fury 325, they were talking about how Intimidator 305 was like two times as small. These next two questions are from Crazy Coaster People. What's your top bucket list coaster? El Toro. Do you watch NBA? From time to time, not much though. This next question is from the Coaster Pro, and she asked, what other parks do you think Six Flags will purchase? So honestly, with Six Flags, I could see them purchasing a park like 
Clementon. However, that's kind of unlikely-ish. I mean, that's just one that I personally think could happen. These next questions are from Theme Park Studios. What do you think about the Be Brave and Ride On Coaster Kids documentary? I think it's amazing. It inspired me to, you know, just do so many cool things. It just, it's such a great video and the story behind it is amazing. How many coaster credits do you have? 66. What got you into coasters? Probably Mystery Mine. <laughs> next question is from Only Germany Coasters. Only Coasters Germany. What is your favorite dark ride? Well, my favorite dark ride was Curse of Dark Castle, but now I guess it's like... Buzz Lightyear. These next questions are from Green Element. What is your top bucket list coaster in your top bucket list park, not in the US? So I already answered that. Go back if you wanted to find out. Are you single? Dang, that's a rip. Turn down oh! This next question is from The Random Dog. Will you visit Six Flags St. Louis? Eventually, probably on a coaster trip or something, but not anytime soon. All right, these next questions are from Cat's Wits. Valley Fair, Worlds of Fun, Valley Fair. Pick a GCI ride that you haven't been on before. Gold Striker. Favorite BNM model? I like the inverts a lot. Arrow or Vacoma? Arrow by far. I-305 sucks. Okay. This next question is from Boy of the Millennium Force. He asks, Coaster Kids or Coaster Studios? I don't know, man. I like both, but honestly, I gotta go with Coaster Studios, because, like, the overall, you know, everything else, I mean, Coaster Kids is great, it's fantastic, and they're both about equal, but just, Coaster Studios, you know, is more rapid with the videos and stuff, you know. This next question is from Valhorse the Meg, -ick. I butchered that name, I'm sorry. What is your favorite Coaster channel? Uh, like I said, probably, like, Coaster Studios or Coaster Kids. Go to Six Flags Magic Pound, not a question, but... Okay, I'd love to go. Coaster Bros asked, will you be going to any Six Flags Park soon? So, if I do go to Six Flags Park, it will be for Riding of the Bull, the Ace event at Great Adventure in September. That's kind of 50-50 right now, but I don't know. You should react to Coaster Canada Fan Top 50 2017. I'll think about it. Austin Woods asked, what is your coaster count? I already answered that. We have quite a few questions from Mario Mestetia Rodriguez. Probably butchered that too. Some of this coaster that you've ridden. Twisted Timbers. Roughest coaster. Grizzly. Parque One or Madrid or Parque de, de Attraccion de Madrid? Um, probably Parque de Attractions, honestly. Everland or any of the Wanda parks? Probably Everland. Wanda or Happy Valley? Happy Valley. Which cartoons do you like? Eh, you know, I don't watch too many cartoons, but if I had to pick, I'd for some reason watch Teen Titans Go. Netflix or HBO? Netflix. Disney Channel or Cartoon Network? Cartoon Network. And last, Shambhala or Flying Aces? Shambhala. Zoe the Beast asked, what is your biggest bucket list coaster? Already answered that. Marcus Marcus Gaming and more asked, what is your favorite coaster YouTuber? Answered that. Balder or Helix? Helix. Wodon or Blue Fire? Wodon. Water slides or flat rides? Flat rides. Best park in the world outside of the United States? Port Aventura. Chaco Taco Coasters asked, will you ever go to Missouri? Yeah, for sure. Do you enjoy water parks? Yeah, they're pretty good. My boy Coaster Raven asks, when could you possibly take me with you to another amusement park? So dude, I don't know. I don't know. Roller Coaster Freak asked, Opinion on Bush Gardens closing Dark Castle? No. Best and worst coaster trains slash restraints. So the best coaster trains, in my opinion, I really like those Intamin Blitz model trains, like you know the one Fahrenheit has? I don't know why. I mean, it's like Maverick has them, Fahrenheit has them. I don't know why those trains are really cool to me. Um, I also like the B&M, you know, hypermodel trains that Fury has, or, you know, like Goliath, Apollos, those kinds. My favorite restraints on any coaster are Skyrush restraints. B&M or Intamin? Intamin. Intamin or RMC? Intamin. Do you play any roller coaster games? I play a little bit of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I haven't quite gotten into Planet Coaster yet. Favorite hobby, pastime. Well, my favorite hobby besides roller coasters, honestly, is music. I love music. You know, I listen to it every day. I'm into, like, rap, hip-hop, stuff like that. I listen to some old classic stuff sometimes, so yeah. Evan Gothier, I probably butchered that. What park are you most looking forward to if you think that there is one coaster that's better than I-305, what is it? So what park am I most looking forward to? Probably Fantasia Land. And if there's a coaster better than I-305, it's going to be El Toro. Fort Coaster asked, why do you hate Steel Vengeance? I don't hate Steel Vengeance. I think it looks brilliant. It's top five, but I don't think it's the world's best. Frankie Paul Coasters asked, have you seen my YouTube channel? It's very good. No, but I'll check it out. What are your thoughts on Thunderbolt at Luna Park? Looks kind of eh. Dollywood or Hershey Park? Oh, dang, Hershey though. Favorite Six Flags Park? I've only been to one and it was trash, but in the whole world, I think Magic Mountain looks like the best. 
RMC Obese asks, what is your opinion on the top five manufacturers in the world? One, Intamin. Two, RMC. Three, GCI. Four, B&M. Five, Mac. Coaster Dash asked, opinions on Voyage? Looks fantastic. Looks incredible, actually. Why do you hate Fahrenheit and SV? I don't hate either of those. I think Fahrenheit was okay. It was fun, but it was not very intense. And Steel Vengeance, like I said, looks great. Which coaster do you think will be the best in 2019? Um, probably the White Cyclone RMC. PA Coaster Enthusiast asked, are you going to Knobles anytime soon? Maybe for the Phoenix Fall Fun Fest. I don't know, though. Rocky asked, will you ever visit Worlds of Fun or Adventureland? They're the only parks I've been to. Rip. <laughs> that is a rip. Um, I definitely will visit Worlds of Fun and Adventureland sometime in the future, probably on a trip. All right, Villas Byrne asked a lot of questions. Here we go. Cedar Point or Europa Park? Europa Park. Legoland Parks or Disney Parks? Disney Parks. Carrying on with T-Bars or I-305 with West Restraints? Carrying on with T-Bars. Intamin Megalite or Goliath? Intamin Megalite. Storm Runner or Accelerator? Accelerator. Swamp Fox or Phoenix? Phoenix. Ghost or Phoenix? Phoenix. Best one-two punches in a park you have been to? Uh, probably King's Dominion, you know, with uh, I-305 and Twisted Timbers. Best top three park you've been to? Carowinds. That's a great top three. Takabisha or Cannibal? Cannibal. Millennium Force or Coaster Through the Clouds? Coaster Through the Clouds. Soaring with Dragons or Terran? Terran. All right, Coaster Rush asked, how many credits do you have? 66. How are you and what's your name? So for those of you who don't know my name, I'm Micah, of course, um, and I am 15. Coaster Nick asked, favorite next flex series? If you watch Netflix, do you have bigger plans for 2019, including for your channel and parks you visit? Um, I don't really watch Netflix that often. Sometimes I'll watch movies on there from time to time. Um, do I have bigger plans for 2019, including my channels and parks? Yes, my channel is going to... I'm, I'm going to try and take it places I've never been and definitely go on a coaster trip next year, hopefully. So, yeah. All right, we got a crud ton of questions from Simply Sam. Here we go. What parks do you plan on going to next year? That's top secret. What are your thoughts on Wildfire at Colmarden? Looks amazing. How many coasters have you ridden? 66. What is your least favorite coaster, Mind Eraser? Favorite ice cream flavor? Coffee. Do you play Fortnite? Sometimes. Airtime or intensity? Intensity. Inversions or airtime? Airtime. How many hyper coasters have you ridden? Four. Ice Speed or Maverick? Ice Speed. Baller or Colossus? Baller. Monster? Hang time. Hang time. Renegade or Brawler? Renegade. Mamba or Steel Force? Mamba. Steel Eel or Wild Thing? Wild Thing. Twisted Timbers or Wicked Cyclone? Twisted Timbers. GCI or CCI? GCI. Gerslauer or Premier Rides? Gerslauer. Gravity Group or GCI? GCI. What do you think of Michigan's adventure next coaster will be? I don't know, probably a turd. What are your top 13 Six Flags parks? Um, I did a video on this. I'll leave the link, I guess, down in the description below so you can go check it out. Um, I'm not going to list all those now. What do you think the five best states for theme parks? Oh my. Okay, so like one, I would probably say California. Two, Ohio. Um... Three, Texas, I guess. Four, Virginia, maybe. Five, Florida. I don't know. That's hard. All right, next up, these questions are from Nick from Beyond the Thrills. What is your favorite hotel you've stayed at? Um, I like the Best Western Premier at uh, near Hershey. Why do you like rough wooden roller coasters so much? Well, because they're rough. There are defunct coaster manufacturers like Schwarzkopf, Penfari, Arrow, Morgan, etc. Which is your favorite and why? Which is your least favorite and why? My favorite out of those would have to be Arrow because I'm a huge Arrow fanboy for some reason. And my least favorite would have to be Penfari because they are trash. And finally, to end off this Q&A, we have a bunch of questions from my good friend, Kobe from Coaster Watch. So there are a lot of questions he asked, and I mean a lot. So let's just do this, guys. This is gonna be a lot of questions. <sighs> what is your most anticipated ride in Japan? Um, probably Steel Dragon 2000. Best 4D coaster? X2. Best defunct coaster? Eh, Son of Beast. Arms here, Intamin. Intamin. Twisted Timbers or Hyperion? Twisted Timbers. Why Kraken over Manta? Just because it was more intense, and I'm into flawless coasters. When are you coming back to Florida? I don't know. Hopefully in winter, though. Best looking small park? Um, you know, I think uh, Clementine looks pretty good. Knobles or Lagoon? Knobles. Knobles or Adventureland? Knobles. Knobles or Worlds of Fun? Knobles. Knobles or Cedar Point? Cedar Point. Knobles or Port Aventura? Port Aventura. Knobles or RMC Beast? RMC Beast. Is Time Traveler at Cedar Dollar City overrated? Yes. Is Mind Blower underrated or and overhated by everyone in the community? Yes. Do you think a 200 foot all tall T-Rex with a 70 to 80 sum of the 70 to 80 second layout, 20 plus airtime moments, and some of the most unique elements in layout running at the RMC, running at the same as the current RMC Raptors would have potential to be the best coaster in the world. If I-305 didn't exist, Dexter or Twisted Timbers? Dexter. Skyrush Stangle Dive or Twisted Timbers Off-Axis Airtime Hill? Skyrush Stangle Dive. 
Quad down or Steel Vengeance Quintibble down? Quad down by far. Quad down or Rolling Thunder? Uh, honestly, the Quad down. Quad down or Fury Treble Clef? <laughs> quad down. Quad down or Dota Dompa Launch? Ooh, honestly, Quad down. I threw a five with Skyrush Restraints or Skyrush with I threw a five Restraints. Oh, um, I threw a five with Skyrush Restraints. Anaconda with Twisted Timbers Restraints or Twisted Timbers with Anaconda Restraints? Twisted Timbers with Anaconda Restraints. Millennium Force with Buzz Bars or El Toro with B&M Vest Restraints? Probably Millennium Force with Buzz Bars. <laughs> Big question. Steel Vengeance, I'd say I threw a five, but you'd actually die. With Buzz Bars on the planet or anything that actually exists. Um, probably Steel Vengeance with Buzz Bars. Big question. With all the hype surrounding this year's RMCs, do you think RMC White Cyclone will become the best new coaster in the world, and let alone the best RMC in the world? Again, if I threw vibe didn't exist. Now, I think RMC White Cyclone, depending on how they create it, I think it will become the best coaster in the world. It just really all depends on, you know, like how they make it and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's very possible. Wow, so that's the end of this Q&A for my 500 subs. I got a lot of questions, and I'm out of breath now. But thank you all for tuning in and giving me all those questions to answer. It was a lot of fun. I'll probably do it sometime again, just not anytime soon. That's a lot. But, uh, yeah, anyway, thank you guys for 500 subs and all those questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, Coaster fans, I will see you later.